Hey guys, Cam here from 9to5Google and a company called Jide at Jide.com has created a software called Remix OS 2. Now this is a desktop operating system built on top of Android and it brings multitasking windows and Android apps to PCs or Macs. What's more, it runs off a USB flash drive. Now once you've downloaded and installed the system to a flash drive, you can run it directly on a Mac or PC. And when starting up on a Mac, you press and hold the Option or Alt key just as it starts booting up and then select the Windows option between the two drives that pop up on the screen. Now the first time you do this, it will take a few minutes to install because it has to unpack everything as an operating system. But once you've done that, you can boot it up in guest mode or in resident mode. Now in resident mode, it saves all your apps, history and information on the USB stick as if it was a proper computer. So you can take the stick with you wherever you go, plug it into any Mac, and you never lose anything. Now once you've gone through the basic setup process, all your apps that are already pre-installed will show up in a pop-up menu, which shows up when you click in the bottom left corner. Now the bottom bar shows all running apps, once they're open, but because there's no Google Play services or Play Store installed right now, you need to install apps by downloading the APK files directly. Now I grabbed a bunch of my most used apps from APK Mirror, but there are obviously other sources for APKs as well. Now most apps load in their normal mobile screen ratio format, so you get like a little 16x9 pop-up window on your screen, but you can adjust them and resize them as you would any window or app on a normal computer operating system. You can also make them full screen if you want. Surprisingly, they're not terrible. Chrome does tend to load the mobile versions of web pages as default, which is a little bit frustrating, but you can force desktop pages to show up instead. Now to access notifications, there's a window which comes out from the right side of the screen. And to get to that, you just press the icon or the list icon in the bottom right corner. Once open, you'll see any notifications in a list as you would with Android. And you also get access to options like the settings menu or the screenshot function. Now the screenshot function lets you manually select an area on display to screenshot, or you can just snap the entire screen. Now apart from the obvious mobile apps experience, there are a couple of other hints that this is Android you're working with. Firstly, there's the app history window, which you can access by pressing F4. This shows a list of all your apps that you've recently used in the sort of scrolling up and down pages list, like you would get on Android Lollipop or Marshmallow. Secondly, there's the Android Lollipop Easter egg, Google's own version of Flappy Bird, which you access by going into the settings menu, hitting about, and then repeatedly clicking the software version until a lollipop fills the screen. Now, before you go and try this for yourself, there are a couple of things that I've noticed early on. Firstly, it's a very early alpha release. So that means that there are bugs. You will experience lag and you will experience multiple apps crashing. Secondly, I noticed that it runs really slowly on my iMac, but quickly on my MacBook Air. That suggests that if you want anything close to fast performance from it, you need to use a solid state-based computer. Thirdly, you do need a fast USB 3.0 flash drive, or you'll have a terrible experience. Although I doubt it'll ever be a fully-fledged PC OS, Remix OS 2 is certainly a useful alternative. Especially if you just want to carry a computer around in your pocket with you wherever you go. I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter, you can follow me, ask me questions, and as always, leave your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll get to them when I can. I'll see you again soon.